So we will begin with the foundation first and I am using the Rimmel London Match Perfection foundation. My shade here is True Beige and I took about two pumps of this foundation on the back of my hand and then I am dotting it all over my face with the help of my finger and then I will blend it into my skin with a flat top brush. You can also use a beauty sponge if you have that. Talking about this foundation, this is a very very dewy foundation and also very hydrating so if you have dry skin type this foundation is gonna work really good for you but if you have oily skin type or if you have combination skin type then stay away from this foundation because it's very hydrating and also slightly sticky. Um, stickiness goes away after powdering but it is sticky so you will have to powder your face with a hell lot of powder so if you don't want to do that don't buy this foundation. And I would recommend you to try the L'Oreal Infallible one if you have oily or combination skin type. It also comes in the same price range and that one is definitely better. And I took about half a pump more to cover the dark circles and also the hyperpigmentation. I wanted this tutorial to be very beginner friendly and that's why I used a second layer of foundation. But you can definitely go ahead and use concealer or corrector as per your need. But I was okay with using a second layer of foundation so I skipped concealer today. And again blend 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 and FYI this makeup look is shot in natural light I didn't had any artificial light on uh, when I was filming this so rest assured that this makeup look is gonna look good in the daytime as well next I'm using a stay quirky lipstick as my blush uh, the benefit of using a lipstick as a blush is because you know that whenever you use your powder blushes they fade away so quickly but when you use lipstick as a blush first of all it doesn't look powdery and also it stays on your face for a really long time. Next I'm using the Blue Heaven Sapphire Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade 03 Natural. To set my face I took a little bit of it on the cap. And then I'm using a very dense brush to set my under eyes and also the nasolabial folds aka laugh lines because my foundation is bound to crease there and I need to use a hell lot of powder to set my foundation there because obviously if I don't then no foundation stays on there. And doing the same on the other eye and also I'm using a very fluffy brush to set my complete face because as I told you that this foundation is very sticky. So for that purpose I had to powder my complete face but just in case if you are using a matte foundation and your foundation isn't sticky then you can definitely skip this step. You don't need to powder your face like this the way I'm doing but just set your t-zone and you will be fine and good to go. And done! Next I'm using the 24K Nudes eyeshadow palette from Maybelline and I'm taking the deep brown shade from this palette to fill in my brows. Now this is also one trick that you can use uh, that you don't need to buy an eyebrow product separately. If you're a beginner you can just use a brown eyeshadow from your palette and you'll be fine if you use that also in your brows. I don't like to fill in my brows that much. I just fill in the sparse areas and that is it. I do not do much to my brows. And yeah, this is all that I do. Next, I took the same brown eyeshadow on a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and then tapping off the excess. It's very important and I'm placing this eyeshadow on the outer V first and then diffusing it towards the inner corner. This is the main trick that you need to follow that if you want to create that gradient effect with one eyeshadow only, this is one thing that you can do. Place the maximum product on the outer V and then Diffuse it towards the crease. This way you can create that gradient effect with one eyeshadow. But just in case if you know how to create that gradient effect with three different eyeshadows, well and good. But again, this video was supposed to be very beginner friendly and that's why I'm using only one eyeshadow and doing the same on the other eye. And needless to say, take your own time to blend and build the product as per your liking and until you are satisfied with the eye look. Next I took this shimmery shade which is slightly rose gold in tone and for the maximum pigmentation of this I will use it with my fingers and then place it over my eyelid. And then I will blend this shimmer shade with the brown 
This is that there are no harsh lines and no distinct demarcation between the shimmer shade and the transition shade. And always extend your eyeshadow, your transition shade to be your towards your lower lash line because your eye look looks very incomplete if you don't do this and just to create a balance and that smoky effect on your lower lash line as well please do this step next i took the champagne shade from the same palette and also with the same brush that this palette comes with this is a small stamp applicator and i'm highlighting my inner corner with this now what this does is it attracts light towards your inner corner which makes your eyes look big and awake so make sure that you don't skip on this step this is very important and if you don't have a champagne shade you can also use your highlighter but just use something shimmery on your inner corner it just makes a hell lot of difference don't skip this next i've used the lacme insta eyeliner to obviously draw a liner on my eyes a uh, thick liner thin liner it's completely your choice you can also use your kajal as a liner and then smudge it slightly and that is also one thing that you can do and next time using the studio west pure passion kajal on my lower lash line thick on the outside thin on the inside that is how i like my kajal to be and i don't know how other youtubers do it but i cannot make a graceful face while using my liner mascara or kajal i really need to learn that skill and i have used the rimmel london volume flash candleline mascara and that's why i did it in the fast forward form cuz obviously i always make so weird faces and next i've used the sugar matte attack transfer proof lipstick in the shade tan helen a very very beautiful brown shade for all indian skin tone look at how pretty this looks next i've used sugar highlighter shade name will be in the description box below for that beautiful glow and i always like to use my highlighter with my fingers cuz obviously it looks a little more natural when you use it with your fingers and it blends very beautifully into your skin a really good highlighter definitely worth uh, trying and yeah here is my final posing session final look whatever you want to call it but as a posing session hai dekh lo je lo <laughs> whatever and yeah if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe and share it if you feel like sharing and i'll see you in my next one i hope to see you in my next one and yeah bye bye take care and happy new year